No one's, yeah, no one's perfect. We've all got kind of uh, flaws. But not. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. But you've got to try and... You, you just, it, I guess honesty is the, the best thing. You've got to present uh, as much as you can an, an honest spin on, on what you are. Uh, because then other people have got much more chance of interpreting you correctly. If you're saying one thing and meaning another, whether that's directly, yeah, you know, I think it's more for both feet across, that clearly isn't, or, you know, or by, by your body language, then the chances of other people ending up in conflict with you are going to be higher because they're going to misinterpret what you're saying. So the more honest you are and the more direct you are about what you're presenting to the world, and I mean that from a physical structure as well, the more chance you have of being uh, correctly interpreted, okay? So we'll do something, we'll talk about our centre as being the core of our being from a, a much life point, okay? If we um, don't have this proper, properly presented, you know, so basically if I, if I spend all day like this, but clearly I'm not, I'm not comfortable, I'm not gonna be efficient, you know? If I can, if I can find a way of presenting myself um, so this is comfortable and honest and everything I'm broadcasting is genuine, then everything else I come into contact with should greet and, and react to me better. Okay, I know you're getting a bit open coat sandal, lemon grass sandwich hippie, but the, the, the understanding underneath is it's the same thing, it's just the martial thing. So we'll just try, we're just going to try a, a quick centre exercise. Craig and, and Rupert, two petite gentlemen. So this is a, just, just grab, grab that. Both hands, both hands. So, just, just lift me up the floor. That wasn't hard, was it? <laughs> now, I, basically, all I did was turn off, okay? Just, now, if I properly broadcast this, so now I'm, you know, this, this is me properly, and my centre, I, I want to stay, you know, to, to use an obvious word, I want to stay grounded. I don't want to be floating around, I want to be try, try to be as honest with this as possible. So I'm not going to, not going to fight it, I'm going to feel what they're, what they're doing, but I'm going to try and stay, try and stay, you know, connected with myself. Try again, look, look at that. So, and all I was doing, all I'm doing really, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's not a magic trick, all I'm doing, I'm just relaxing. If I, if I fight these guys, well, <laughs> but they're doing the same thing. They're doing exactly the same thing. I've asked them to lift. They're not doing anything aggressive. I am creating the conflict with the way I'm, I'm broadcasting myself and the, the way I'm structuring this. And this is what happens all the time. Quite often, the people that, you know, like myself, that are interested in conflict resolution as a concept and have kind of searched and studied it, are people who naturally rock people up their own way. You know, outgrown with various people, people that like to question stuff. Anyway, so it's, you've got to try and look at what you're doing and how you're doing stuff. So just try this. So just want to, arm stiff, ask your partners to lift you, and basically just push down into the floor and stop them lifting you. Go on, go. And then, and then just, imagine, just relax. So imagine, you know, imagine your, you know, your centre is a, is where you've collected all your energy and all your, you know, all your weights there, and just relax everything else. Now, now just, do the same thing. Just, just. It's a lovely day, isn't it? <laughs> because there's nothing there. I'm not providing better. I'm not providing conflict. I'm not providing a point for the two things. The softness. You know, you've got a great big fist and you smashed it into another fist. You get two broken fists and all the stuff goes in. You've got a fist and you push it into water. There's no confidence, it's just stuff happening. And the world carries on. Have a go. Have a go. Come on, try. Listen, connect, and participate. Okay?
So from a listing point of view, we've already started playing with that. With the, you know, with the Tainahenko exercise, it's fairly quiet because we've, our partners are being genuine and they were just holding it there. They, wasn't, they weren't really saying that much. Okay? So there's not that much to pick up. The body language was static. You know? So what we're going to do now, we're going to do a pushing exercise. I want you to react. So there's lots of, again, we've, we've played with this before. But I want you to react to what you're being given. Okay? I want you to just keep your, keep your structure, be as um, comfortable and on balance as you can. But um, come on. So Liam's just going just gonna to push me. Literally, that's all we're doing. Push me in different parts and different parts of the body. That's it. So I'm I'm listening to what he's doing. If he pushes me really, really hard and I and I'm not listening, then I'm gonna tumble. Or if he kind of pushes me gently and I'm not reacting to it. So feel what the part is giving you, the energy they're giving you. And this, you know, we're, we're simplifying this down to just a push. But it could be the language you're using, it could be the body language, it could be the fact that you notice they look tired, it could be all sorts of other stuff that's feedback that we normally wouldn't necessarily tune into. It's all information that's, that's, that's important. So, just push me however, however you feel. So what I'm trying to do, all I'm trying to do is just, just keep my structure and react to, just react to what's being given, okay? So I'm just going to stand in there, wander around, push any part of me at all. Okay? Thank you. That's <laughs> 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 good. So basically, uh, if, Liam's, if, you, if Liam's turn, so just. Honestly, to what's being given. Well, I mean, we're only going to do these exercises for a little while, but just to get your, uh, your your mindset into what it is we're playing with, because we're going to try and develop these three things and then put them together, and then we'll play with them within a technique. Okay, have a go. Hey. The next concept: the connecting. Now, when we were doing our tiny hinko little exercise at the beginning, connecting with the partner. Sorry. Looking at things from the same viewpoint, if you like. From a martial arts point of view, that was with some. Um, here we go. Oh, come on. Who can have a choice today? Just, just swing a few punches. Good. Oh, hit me. No, hit me. Come on. Okay. Go. Yeah, so, I mean, I could do this all day. Eventually, you hit me. You're younger and fitter and better looking. And all I'm doing, all I'm doing is banging, banging them out, you know, I'm not connecting with him, I'm moving out of the way, just about, and I'm kind of, you know, there's no, that's not ever going to go any further than what happened. The conflict was already there, on an emotional level, and, and the, you know, as we were touching, there was a conflict going on there, but I'm never going to do anything with that. There's never going to be any, any chance of any kind of reconciliation or turning that into something decent. So to try and find a way of actually connecting with what's going on in here, finding out why, what's going on, why he's doing what he's doing, what he actually wants, and seeing if I can get on the same, the same tram line as him, see if I can get on the same path. So, see what I mean? You can't just go from fight to happiness and light and rainbows and care bears, you know? There has to, there's, there's a process, you've got to get inside each other's heads and work out what's going on. It's got to be a connection. Um, just the giant orange, the listening connection story. This first of them, first of the metaphor story. So there's two guys that live next door to each other, and there's a massive orange tree right on the, the border of their their properties, and this one orange has been growing for weeks. It's huge. It tends to be the biggest orange in the world. Eventually, it drops down. And they're both having this big argument as to who's going to have the orange. 
And they kind of, uh, and after a while, they just, yeah, there's not much conversation going on. They just chop it in half, and they take the bits back to their house. One guy scoops all the orange out the middle and eats it, throws the peel away. The other guy scoops all the middle out, throws it away, and makes the cake out of the peel. Squinty laugh. Knowing that, knowing me is the middle of this. You know. If you, yeah, I mean, if you, sometimes if you just look at the information that's there and bo be bothered to take it in, sometimes you know, reconciliation and changing something that's potentially a nasty situation that can then escalate, because quite often the conflict just keeps going, just like a snowball down here. Quite often there's a, a very, very simple one. How often, yeah, all of us at some point have met someone for the first time and thought, and then a couple of years later, in a different situation or whatever it is, in fact, we were talking about this as well. You think, actually, yeah, they're a good guy. And then you'll find out the extra piece of information that, that you know, puts it all together. So, Liam's going to hit me again. Just uh, So rather than me choosing to, you know, Smash, you're on your unconscious, end of conflict. <laughs> I'm going to try and do something. I'm going to connect with my partner. I'm going to try and do something. So now there's at least options for something I can do. I'm okay. I'm just going to blend with this shape. All I'm doing with this is filling in this space. This isn't destruction. I'm not going, you know, this is basically just to stop this forwards motion. To give me a chance. This strike basically is here. He's angry with this bit. He's coming in, so he wants that space there. That's fine. He can have that. That's great. I'm just going to put something up to make sure I'm making contact with it when it's there, though. Connected. Even down to the point where the mechanical centre of this lever I'm using to take his balance is in line with my centre. I'm being honest about that. I'm not just. Oh, this isn't me just kind of going. Bang. Yeah. I'm trying to keep this. Uh, he's, he's got. Here's my centre the whole time. He's got my centre. There's my centre. And now I'm picking up the bit I need. And now we can have a conversation. Might not be exactly the conversation you wanted, but it's a lot nicer than the, the endless punches and blocks. And you know, that story was going to go on forever. So just try this one. Just one more. So he swings round. I match his feet. feet. I'm matching his movement. So we're both already doing the same kind of thing. There's an element of connection there. Thumb on the base of here, just control this. Um, I'm going to take it through to where his balance was going anyway. Nothing that he didn't already want to do, whether he knew it or not. Into my centre. I'm just going to keep going. I'm listening to him. He's solid there. So the information he's giving me, that's what I need. And this will just do for now. Let's talk about it. I'll buy you a coffee. No, okay. Just have a go. From the point of view of an okay holding on tight. Okay? So, so all they're doing is basically they're giving you their structure and place. Okay? Obviously, fights are fights different than coming before you're in. It's nice having you on the back. It's good. Yeah. Let's be feel small. So, two hands from behind. This is a good fun. So again, stronger, better looking, there's no one that's going to muscle my way out of this. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff I could, I could do, it, you know? But that would be me creating a conflict, which would be a bit. So, he's, he's, and the more I try and, you know, especially my shoulders, because it's about as far as I go. So I'm going to find a way of, of me addressing this so that I can you know, get inside you know, why is he doing this? You know, he could have a mate who's just going to pop in in front of me. He's going to punch Mary Dan out of it, and he's holding me down. You know? 
for all I know, I could have been standing looking at the, the sea view and the cliff edge was starting to pull away. And he's actually about to pull me back and save me. You know? I kick him in the nut, I'm going to just fall over the edge. So, unless I, so I'm going to listen. What have I got? Okay, he's hold on. So, generally speaking, I'm unhappy with this situation. But I don't want to start something that's going to, you know, that's going to escalate. So I'm going to, yeah, he's, he's got my arms. That's the realistic thing. I'm listening to what's going on. He's got my arms. He hasn't got, yeah, I can carry on doing the river dance thing. He's only got this. So if I move my centre, as we were talking about earlier, the integrity of this and my kind of, you know, now I'm looking at what's going on. Now there's these IT people, obviously there's all sorts of things I can do from here, you know. But in this particular situation, it's just holding me. There's no need for anything that's other than you know, hardly even using my arms, it's just me connecting. Just me connecting. And then we're back in the same situation where I can buy him another coffee. By the end of the day, you're going to be wired with all these coffees you're having. <laughs> There's a metaphorical story, yes! I yeah. see, I'm going to tell a metaphorical story. <laughs> Big lecture theatre. And there's a supply teacher covering for the day. So all the, all the kids all say, okay, 22 minutes pass. We're all throwing our books on the floor. It'll be really, really fun. So the class starts and she's on the whiteboard. And, uh, 22 minutes pass. Da, 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 da. And all the kids are snickering. Rather than turning around and kind of shouting and getting annoyed, she looks at the floor, she looks at the books on the floor, walks over to her desk, picks up her book and drops it and says, Sorry I was late. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's a daft thing, but what you do, how you react to some of this stuff, how, how you react to, to the, 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 the energy that the universe gives you, if you want to be a bit kind of holistic about it, is entirely down to you. And you guys have all got different stuff, you've all got different life and spirits, you've all got different makeups, so it's up to how you, how you kind of deal with it. So, can I have my body back, please, Neil? Put your coffee down. So, hold on time. <laughs> so now, I really can't do anything apart from move my, move my centre. In front, I've moved my centre so this is in front. I'm not even worried about this, I'm keeping this directly, if you like, in front of my back. And I'm just going to turn where I feel there's some space. Now I'm going to use my centre. My back to here again. About the most non-aggressive way of dealing with that situation that I can possibly think of. But it's about the connection. If I break free from this grip, or I start a conflict, I start a fight, if I kind of go, you know, he's got this, he obviously wants that, that's fine, I've got no real problem with that. That's absolutely fine. I can feel where his balance point is, it's over there. Down there, isn't it? Participant could be in. Yeah, you've got all, every end of the spectrum. It could be a conversation that starts with getting a bit and you talked it down, and you know, it could be like I was doing with Leah, jokingly taking him for coffee. It could be, you know, it's a guy coming with you, at you with a, a chainsaw and an ice hockey ma mask. It, it might be the participation might be, you know, pushing a chair onto him and then running. It's, but it's the appropriate best scenario that you can get out of that situation. That's what you're trying to do, okay? And you can only do that if you've got the information first of all, you've connected with that information, you've got involved with it, and then you do something with it. Conflict and, and you know, to resolve things, you can't just hope that it goes away. You actually have to do something with it. And that's what you've been doing. You've been doing something with it. You've been taking it to a position where we've now got choices. With it, yeah? 
So again, another old chestnut, an old exercise we've done hundreds of times. Uh, who's nice and Maxi? Can I borrow you? So another little frail person. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to create conflict. Okay, I'm, there's a stiff arm. Just bend my arm. You probably could. We'll probably do this, no problem at all. So just bend my arm. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. <All right. laughs> my, my relatives back in London felt that. So, yeah, so I'm pure strength, okay? We've all done this before, so, but I'm, I'm creating, you know, I'm, I'm creating the conflict here. Now, check <laughs> So now, same thing, you can use both hands if you want. This time, rather than just standing here and being stiff and, and creating a, a potential for all sorts of stuff to go wrong, I'm going to listen to what he's doing. Just change your feedback so we're fast. I'm listening to what he's doing, so he's pulling down. I'm going to connect with it, and I'm going to participate. You started yet? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm relaxed. Now I'm going to participate with this. <laughs> Dancing with you would be very tiring. Very tiring. So, thank you, thank you. I mean, it's, you know, it's an Aikido magic trick, you see it. But all, all you're basically doing is you're not fighting. I'm, I'm just. And the important bit was my centre was engaged. I was giving him the respect he, he, you know, he was due. And this here, as he was pulling it down, I thought, okay, I don't want to fight against that. I mean, he's twice as good looking and twice as strong. There's no way I'm going to do you know. So all I was doing is he was pulling down towards himself like that. I thought, well, you can have that. It's just a little bit of extension through the fingers, but from here. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I did have a pull. <laughs> have a go. Try and find someone. The only, the only thing is say, find someone about the same height as you. If your arm's up here, it makes it a bit trickier. Have a go. Relax, but uh, lined up so that your centre is um, your centre is reinforcing what you're doing. It's kind of the base of everything we're doing. Well, much martial arts. This, yeah, this, this unbendable arm we use in pretty much everything. The minute you put tension into it and you lock up, or you're stiff, you're, it's a straight line. A straight line in the human body is never strong. Not a locked out straight line, Rupert's really disagreeing. <laughs> but, you know, obviously when you've got, you know, that kind of, but, but if, you're, if you're trying to do something dynamic, if something is locked out, you're using energy to lock it out, for, for starters. If I then want to move to any other situation, I've got to relax, reset, and then do something else. It's just not efficient. I mean, yeah, our basic, our basic kind of posture, if you like, I've got two unbendable arms. Even though I'm, I'm at rest, the energy's, you know, I'm putting the, like my old sense I used to talk about hose pipes of water coming out. You know, there's, there's a decent flow. If I decide to fall over, I'm not going to stiffen up and, and cause a conflict from the floor. I'm just going to connect. And join and come back up because that's there's no need. It's once me having an argument on the floor, that would be really stupid. So, I'm going to try this. I'm just going to use this, this shape again now. Okay, this, this uh, uh, concept of flowing through what we've got here. We'll do it from a strike again. Where's, where's Lynn? Have I again? No, I'll tell you what, we won't do it from a strike. We'll do it from a hold on, hold on, sir. So, um, you're not flying? Yes. So, he's got me here, okay? I'm going to keep my energy. I'm not going to push and pull. I'm just going to put my centre to this. I'm going to move it to where I know there is a balance point, okay? Both arms. Okay. So if I start, hold on tight. Can you keep it there as normal? Yeah. So my centre goes into it, there's my shape, that's it, very very simple Sumio Tosh shape, if he's holding on tight though, i just try and go there, well, no, keep it there, keep it there. so there's my centre, 
Don't move. Now, in that particular instance, if you guys have been training a bit, a normal human reaction, I've told him to skip there, because I was going there, he started slightly pushing into me, just slightly pushing into me. But I'm trying to listen to that. So hold it, hold it there, keep there, sit. Oh, there's that little push. So I'll go that way. He's giving me this sort of push. I'll, I'll have that. And that very slightly takes away to that piece of fields. From a mechanical point of view. From a relationship point of view, though, here's my centre, yours, your centre. That's good, you can have that if you want. That's lovely. There's your balance point. I can already feel you wanting to turn that back foot. That's fine. One more. One more side. So he's a bit more open this side. So his balance point is going to be over there. That's better. You can do that. Another coffee? Have a go. Look. Do another group if you want. Thing now. A thing. That's a good technical. Go on then. So, so Liam's going to basically, he's going to come in, he's going to grab both hands. Okay? So there's no right or wrong with this. He's, he's going to come in and grab both, with both hands. So it's an, it, it's a, like a, uh, a step up from what we've just been doing. But the fact that he's coming in with a step means, you know, at the moment he's giving me a neutral thing and I can just play with my centre and my invisible arm and, and redirecting and all that kind of stuff. When he comes in, the conflicts, the potential conflict we'll call it, has started here. Because he's already he's indicated his intent to come and grab me. So now I've got to listen, I've got to look at his body movement. Is he coming in like this? Does he look like he's going to push down? Is he coming in with one hand first? Yeah. I've got to listen to what's going on. I've got to make connection with him, which is going to happen obviously because he's going to get hold of my wrist, but I don't want to do and break out. I want to stay connected. And then some way I'm going to participate with him and bring it to a close in a nice way. Okay? So it's effectively, for you IQ people, this is a clicking out. Right? So. Right. And I'll go to the coffee. Okay. Yeah. Okay, have a go, little groups. 